So you say that um, this path is vastly uh, untraveled or unexplored and that's why the help of a guru and um, the support of a guru helps us avoid pitfalls. 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 So what sort of pitfalls? What, what First let me make it clear. It's better not to have a guru than end up in wrong hands. Let's make this clear. So, what sort of pitfalls? Pitfalls inside and outside. Like, you might suddenly get enthusiastic about something that is written in a book and start practicing and end up in trouble. If there is a teacher or a guide, it need not even be a guru, somebody whom you can talk to in personal terms, who has already walked on the path, he will tell you, don't do this now, do it do this simple thing and then you will come to that. These are some of the outward pitfalls. The inner pitfalls are, if you get into a state of uh, consciousness about which you have no understanding and you are puzzled, if there is someone who has already passed through it, he can help you out with this. He or she can help you out. This is why I meant, that's exactly what I meant by the pitfalls. In fact, even in this there are pitfalls because, example, suppose you are practicing earnestly yoga and one day you come upon some blissful and tremendous energy and then you discover that you are able to read somebody's mind, suppose. It's a big pitfall. If somebody doesn't guide you away from that, you'll probably end up doing the same, reading some um, minds and so on. What I have been told is that it's like um, reading somebody's sealed letter. You can't do it. You shouldn't do it. Since we are on this subject, I want to elaborate a little more from my personal experience. That's more important. When I was uh, with Babaji, with my master, Mahesh uh, just the second year when I was with him, uh, I had this great, uh, um, you can call it desire, yes, to uh, see more than I can see with my eyes. You can only see some things with your eyes, you can't see. I thought there must be something subtle which I can see, like thoughts. And I had uh, heard that thoughts have forms, forms. So I said to him, Babaji that, uh, oh, is there some exercise by which I can do this? So he said, do you really want to do it? I said, yeah, I want to try it. As usual, he said, okay, theek hai, he said, okay. So he gave me an exercise and please don't do it. Give me, you can if you like, but uh, he said, uh, he gave me a, a blackened glass, uh, a glass blackened, which can be kept on the wall. And in front of that, on a, uh, lit a candle, light candle. And then look at the candle and meditate, and a little bit of pranayam, which I don't want to discuss now, some breathing, rhythm, pattern change. Look at the flame, and then after a long time of looking at the flame, I'm supposed to close my eyes and look above the flame, at the black mirror. Um, I did this for 20 days or 21 days. When uh, when I sat there, I didn't feel anything, but when I was not practicing it, one morning I got up and I found some terrible thing coming towards me. So, I, I thought it is a thought form, but it looked like a mixture of, uh, of a crab and a scorpio or something, scorpion coming. I mean, then I knew now this is a thought form which I am seeing. So there must be somebody had with terrible thoughts somewhere. You know, so I started seeing these things, all kinds of thought forms. Some were good, some were bad, uh, but all the time, 
except when I went to sleep and it became such a burden on me that I uh, but then you can find out a person's thought good or bad everything you can find out colors are also different but then I, it was such a big burden carrying this thing around that you are sitting here and talking suddenly something is coming from I, I, I went to Babaji with folded hands and I said now how do you get rid of this <laughs> please this is a pitfall. You know what I'm talking about. I said, can you, how do we get rid of it? Uh, he said, you wanted it. I said, yeah, but I, I, I didn't know that it is such a big burden. That uh, So uh, how do I get rid of it? You really want to get rid of it? Don't ask me again. I said, I said, I said, I won't ask. Okay, he said, and gave me one hit on the head. <laughs> Finished. I felt something like a lightning here and tuck and it was gone. So these are some pitfalls which... Oh, another thing. Suppose you're a, you're a young man, right? You start practicing yoga with a certain amount of celibacy and so on. <laughs> Energy builds up. Your face shines. You become very attractive. Very soon, very soon you see ladies around you. Pitfall. Watch out. <laughs> I'm not saying that you should hate them. You, you, I hope you understand what I'm saying. You have to be careful. Because this energy is seen by others and it reflects and especially the opposite sex, they see it. They can feel it. So, you have to be careful. It may be nothing, it may be just a friendly gesture, but one has to be careful. Otherwise one not end up in trouble. So, these are... These are the sum of my favorite things. <laughs>